Hey guys, so today we're gonna to make these really cute woven baskets. I'm gonna show you how to weave, just going over, under, over, under with some paper, and we're gonna create these cute little baskets that you could then put in your room. You could put pins or markers or fun things in. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need some paper. Um, I just have some regular colored construction paper here. For this cute little basket, I use some um, scrapbook paper. You can use computer paper, whatever you have laying around. You're gonna need some scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, a ruler, and some tape. That's it. Let's get started. All right, so I have my paper here. Whatever color you want your main basket color to be. So like this one, the main color is blue. Let's go ahead and grab that paper first. So for this basket, I think the main color that I'm going to use is going to be green. So I'm gonna get my green paper out and I'm going to fold it in half like a card or a book. All right, I'm gonna crease that fold right there. And then I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna cut along that fold. And we're only gonna use half of a sheet today. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ruler. I want you to take your ruler and I want you to line the top edge up with the paper. And then I want you just to draw a line across the bottom of your ruler. Turn your paper around and do the same thing. We're gonna do this for all four edges of our paper. All right, when you do that, you're gonna see that you've created these four squares in the corner. These four squares, we don't need them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to snip each of those four squares off of my paper. Try to stay on your lines. Oh, I say that and then I got kind of crooked there. All right. So snip all four corners off. Like that. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold on these lines. So I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna fold on that pencil line. I'm gonna fold on this pencil line, this one, and then last, this one. Now, if you're using um, scrapbook paper, and your pattern is out here and it's white on the inside, that's okay. After you fold, go ahead and just flip it over so that it's white on the inside like this and your pattern paper is on the outside. Okay, no problem. All right, but if you're using colored paper like mine, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna snip on these short edges. We're gonna put two snip, two snips. So we're gonna go right here and snip down to that fold and we're gonna go right here and snip to the fold. That's gonna give us three tabs. I'm gonna do the same thing on this short side. I'm gonna snip right here and right here so that I get three tabs. All right, now for the long side, the first snip I'm gonna make is right in the middle. Okay, then I'm gonna fold this tab up and this is the same size as these little ones and I'm gonna do the same thing. I want three tabs. So I'm gonna make two snips, one, two, and then I'm gonna fold this tab if you want. If it helps to put those up, you can. And I'm gonna make two snips on this one, one, two. So what that's gonna do is give me six tabs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, turn the paper over this way. I'm gonna do the same thing. First snip is right in half. Fold this tab up, two snips, one, two. If it helps to get those out of the way and fold them up, go ahead and do that. Two snips on this tab, one, two. Then you should have a total of six tabs, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's the start of our basket. I'm gonna go ahead and set that out to the side for a second, and I'm gonna get my two colors that I'm going to weave with. So I'm gonna do yellow and orange. I wanna cut some strips and I wanna cut them on this long side right here so I have some nice long strips. And I want them to be about the same width as my pinky. So I'm just gonna start cutting some strips. I have the two pieces of paper together so they cut at the same time. 
and one more and that should be enough okay so that gives me two of each color all right all right so now you need your basket back and you need your glue so here's where the weaving comes in weaving means that you're going to go over under over under over under let me show you what i mean i'm going to start with orange and i'm going to start on this side right here i'm just going to put some glue right down here so that i can hold this color in place so i'm going to press that down all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of hold this back and i'm going to lift these tabs i'm going to put this one up this one down up down up okay see how i did that so i've got these ones up and then i'm going to lay this right across and what you can even do is put some glue right on these tabs just to help it stay down okay and then i'm going to lay those tabs down okay see how it's over under, over, under, over, under. I can see the orange, no orange, orange, no orange, orange, no orange. That means I did it right. Now, that's the inside of my basket. The outside of my basket should look the same way. All right, so when you get to a corner like this, your orange now has to bend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my orange, okay? And I'm gonna turn my basket this way. Now look, there's no orange right here. So I need to see orange right there. So the orange needs to lay on top of this one. But now I have to fold my basket up and be working this way like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some glue right here. I'm gonna see orange there. I'm gonna put this one up and this one's gonna stay down. I'll put some glue right there too. Okay, now my orange is gonna lay across this way and I'm gonna pull it so these ones start to come up on this side. It's going to start to actually make your basket now. Okay, same thing. Orange, no orange, orange. So if I look on the outside, it should be in that pattern. All right, so now I'm getting to the corner again and I need it to go this way, so I need to bend it so that it can turn. Now, there's green right here, so this one needs to be orange. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on that one. So I'm gonna put orange right here. This one's gonna go down, up, down, up, down. Okay, and I've run out of orange, but that's all right. Put some glue right there so it stays. Just grab my other orange piece and I'm just gonna start right here because that's where my orange goes, right? None on here. So let's go ahead and put some glue. Orange will start right there. All right, now I can lift these back up and I've done it correctly. I have orange, green, orange, green, orange, green. Okay, now I'm at a corner again, so I have to bend. Okay, so this one was green, so this one needs to be orange. All right, so I'm gonna put some glue on there. That one can be up, down, up, Get the orange, there we go, and I did it right. Okay, so now we're at the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this orange piece, and I'm gonna snip it, and I don't wanna put it right here, because then I have orange, orange, so I wanna go behind this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that one down, put some glue right there, close it up, Okay, so now you're gonna be working with your basket standing up. See how all my, everything's standing up now? All right, so I'm gonna turn it this way so that you guys can see it, but you can go ahead and leave yours down flat on the table. Okay, now I'm gonna get my yellow. So here's the important thing about yellow is, or whatever color you use next, you want it to be opposite of this color. So I don't want to have yellow and orange right next to each other like that. See how this one's all green? So I want my yellow to start up here and it's gonna be up on the top, not down at the bottom. So that that way, when I go over under, then I'll have yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, like that. So I'm gonna put some 
glue on my yellow. I'll go ahead and start right here. And now I'm going to go under this one and on top of this one. So I have yellow, green, yellow. This one needs to be green. And then yellow. And then green. See how I did that? Now I have yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange. That's what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on this yellow right here or even the green to help get that one stay put. Help that one to stay put. There we go. Okay, see? Now I'm gonna flip. I gotta bend this yellow so that it can move around the corner. I've got green here, so yellow is gonna go on top, then behind, then on top. Okay, and go ahead and turn. Needs to bend so it can go around the corner. I've got yellow on top right there, so we want it to go behind the green front, behind. Okay, now I ran out. That's okay. Ooh, I'm just going to glue this one down. All right, let's get my other yellow. Put some glue on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and come back here behind this one and then in front, behind, in front, it needs to turn the corner, so I'm going to bend it. Behind, in front. Behind, and oh, I'm all done. So I'm going to bend the corner this way. I'm going to snip it. Put some glue. Tuck it back there like that. All right, now let's check. So I've got yellow, orange, 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 yellow. All right, I did it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my tape and I'm gonna tape all this down in here to help stabilize my um, basket. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take some tape and I'm going to just put some tape along this edge and that's going to help keep all my little pieces together. So I'm going to turn the basket this way. Put some tape along here. Turn my basket and put some tape. Oh, that one's already coming up. So see, that's what the tape will help with. Like that. like this okay now if I have any little pieces that are sticking up right here that I want to come in and um, glue down just so that they don't stick up I can do that all right so now that I have my basket weaving done now I can take one of my extra pieces so I'm gonna use my orange and I'm gonna add some glue onto the ends I'm gonna use glue and tape just to help make sure it stays I'm gonna put my handle right here. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right there inside like that. And then I'm gonna bend it over to the other side like this. Add a little bit of tape. Whoop. Add a little bit of tape. And there we go. I have my little basket all done, my little woven basket. You can now put this in your room. You can add, you could put little pins in there. You could put markers. You could put little trinkets, tchotchkes, whatever you want to put in there. Thank you guys for following along with me today. Make sure that you like and share and subscribe so you see when we have new videos. I will see you next time. Bye.